I'll tell you, I'll start off with the, uh, the, pra the uh, injury update. So Vaughn, Tyler both out. Uh, Damian Harris uh, will not practice today, but is again heading in a good direction, it appears. Cam Lewis will not practice today. Um, we'll see where that goes over the next couple of days. Uh, Reggie will be back out there, we think, this week. Uh, DJ, uh, good news from, from the reports uh, last night on DJ, Dale, and as well as Tommy. So both, um, you know, more just contusions than anything. Um, and I think that, I think that should be it. No, I just think we just need to see where it goes this week over the next couple of days. Remember, we're off tomorrow, so today is a jog through, a little bit of full speed at the end. Um, but the reports uh, back to me at this point are positive that he's that he's going in the in the right direction. John Jordan Williams had some tackles yesterday in his first time out. He said earlier this week that learning that Mike helped him when he moved back outside. Why does that help a young player sort of connect the defense? Well, I think it just, you know, the, the part to whole type of approach, um, it helps with that. And um, kind of knowing where you are as it relates to the other pieces of the defense certainly helps. Did you like what you did yesterday? I did, yeah. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was very physical, um, like all of our players. And our team, and myself included, in, in all of this, is we have plenty to work on, um, as does Dorian in this case. Um, but I thought he he did a good job in playing fast, playing physical, and you can build off of off of things like that. John, what did you make of Khalil Shakir's drive there? I think it was the, your third drive. He had a couple of nice catches, but then the third down one, he probably went back. He admitted as yeah. much after the game. What did you just think of that drive overall for him? Yeah, I mean, I thought the one over the middle, I think it was a second and long, third and long conversion for us, um, was very impressive. And uh, like you said, he wants that drop back. Um, plenty of plays we we all want back, and um, I have a lot of confidence in him, and he's usually pretty sure-handed. So, um, you know, that was a critical third down and, and one of which we should have came away with some points. Hopefully, I think that would have gotten us into the – maybe the high red or fringe area more than anything. So that was a critical third down, and I think I'll do a good job with that next time. When you've got a guy like him, a young player, how do you make sure that he's not being too hard on himself after a play like that? Because, you know, he, he, after the game, he was pretty upset with himself for not making it and just kind of maybe having them embrace, you know, the bigger picture. Like, yeah, in, in, you know, in a vacuum, you want to make that one play, but it's not – your, your season and your summer isn't defined by that one play. Yeah, I mean, it's so when you come in this morning and you grade the film and you look at things and and you see where, you know, we could have been better and you see where I could have been better, you, you, you know, when you're when you when you're invested in things, you tend to be sometimes pretty hard on yourself. Um, but you also have to keep big picture perspective on where we're at. It's preseason game number one. What are we going to do to adjust and make those critical corrections and adjustments so that we can continue continue to grow and take another step? And that's really the the goal for this week, and that that's what his his goal needs to be as well. Watching the game back, did anything stand out from the both backup quarterbacks? How you know both Kyle and Matt did yesterday? Was it kind of what you thought after the game? Like, did anything specifically stand out? Well, I mean, I think. Um, you know, there was, there was certainly some good plays that both had and certainly plenty to work on. Um, you know, I, you know when, you're not, when you're not being efficient on first down, that affects third down and kind of the throwing downs. And, um, you know, fundamentally we could have been better as well in some of those situations. You know, we had the drop that was mentioned. And so, um, but you go back to work today and, and – where you want to improve and how you want to improve and and you go back to the drawing board and when you're given another opportunity i think that's that's important how you handle it so i thought both did some good things i also think both have um, like we all do like our team does plenty to work on what did you feel like uh, tyrell did yesterday get a kind of big larger look at him i mean you're familiar with him obviously but in that game yesterday. dotson yeah yeah um you know, I thought he did some good things. It was his first time uh, recently out there with the ones in terms of um, other than as a, as a backup to Tremaine the last couple of years. So um, I thought he did some good things and controlled the defense, um, made the plays he was, he was supposed to make. When you look at the film in the 
regards to the quarterback competition with Dane, Kair, and Christian, did you take a step forward in the evaluation process on your end based upon what you saw against the Colts? Uh, yes and no. Uh, Dane just got a few plays there in that first series and then made the interception, and then the other two got uh, significantly more playing time, um, and we wanted to evaluate them with that. So, um, you know, we, we have yet to meet as an overall staff uh, to, to basically set the vision for, for this week. So as of today, it'll pretty much stay um, like it was yesterday a bit, and, um, you know, we'll get a chance to, to get together a little bit more tomorrow and, and set, the, set the vision for this week. And who we need to see and how much of each each of those guys we need need to see. Sean, speaking of Kyrie, I know he was called for pass interference yesterday. How do you, you know, balance wanting him to still be physical? Because I know we've seen it throughout training camp. You know, trying to make sure he, he's not getting flagged, he's not making too much contact. How do you balance wanting him to still be physical, but making sure that he's not going to get called for those plays? Yeah, well, you want you want your players to play physical and aggressive, um, and, and you want them to do that in practice as well. So what tends to happen is what we do in practice, we do in games, and, and winning with your feet is important uh, in practice. And um, and so, you know, you, you want them to be physical, but there's a line where it's going to get called. And, and yesterday I thought... Uh, it got called accurately, honestly, and and um, we've got to we've got to improve in those areas. Not just him, but we have you know a, what, eight penalties total yesterday, and some of those are aggressive penalties, and you want, like I said, people to be aggressive. But some of those are penalties that are definitely within our control. Do you do anything with the Traven Howard hit at the end of the game in terms of showing it, or I mean, it was a key moment, it was a big hit, the whole thing. I don't know as a coach what you may use that as some sort of demonstration maybe yeah. in the in the meeting room. No, yeah. I mean we try and celebrate those those areas that are really good and that was a key moment in the game and a big play for a young player and um, then the energy that it brought to our football team, then we come back and the offense goes and uh, and seals the game in a four minute drive. So that was that was a key moment in the game. Can you give an overview on his summer so far? Well, I'm not sure really what he's done recreationally, you know, but um, <laughs> yeah. you may want to ask him that. Um, uh, yeah, he, he brings a lot of energy to our football team. He really does. He's passionate, seems passionate about, about playing football. And no matter what, what group he, he's run with since, since getting here, he's, he's been the same person, same player. And, and I appreciate that about him, respect that about him. And um, like I said, he just seems like he loves football. From Boogie, that sack tackle for a loss is the expectation. Like it wasn't super celebrated as locker style after the game or anything like that. Have you noticed maybe I don't want to say a maturation, but just like a, a level up in terms of what the standard or expectation is with him? Yeah, you know, I would say I would say that um, it's it's a young player growing right on and off the field and. Um, what I saw yesterday in the last couple of days was a step up, a, a leveling up, if you will, as you said, in, in uh, urgency, pad level, physicality, um, and that's a good thing. And um, you see flashes of what he's capable of, and now we need to make those more consistent. He needs to make those more consistent um, in terms of the pad level, the physicality, and, and he knows that. And so um, we're excited to watch him develop in that regard. Good.